Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a pretty important video for any of you guys that are looking at getting the iPhone XS or iPhone XS Max. So if I didn't make this video, I would feel bad uh, just because I try to give you guys all of the breaking information about these devices before you go and spend your hard earned money on them. Now this one is kind of a bad thing for most people out there. Uh, it turns out the iPhone XS Max and iPhone XS are putting some sort of weird beauty mode onto the selfies. Now at this point, it seems it's only happening to the iPhone XS and XS Max. This is not an iOS 12 thing. This is something to do with the actual new devices themselves. So we'll have to see if this happens to the iPhone XR uh, as well, because this could be a deal breaker for a lot of people. Now, if you look at Lou here, uh, you can see this has pretty aggressive smoothing and beauty effects applied to his skin. If you guys have seen him a lot, he does not look like this. Like here, let me rewind this video. This is not what he actually looks like. He does not look like that. So. Um, okay, that's a joke, but somewhere in here, here, here you go. You guys can see iPhone 10, 10s Max, 10s, and iPhone I think six. You guys can clearly see. Look at look at the, his features right here. So this is a normal iPhone 10. This is what he's supposed to look like, right? Looks like Lou. But then look at this 10s Max. His eyebrows get like completely messed up because it's smoothing and it's like changing the skin tone. It doesn't even look realistic to be honest. And it, it's super smooth. It's just creepy looking. Uh, and then this is obviously an old school phone, 6 or 6S, uh, looks pretty much the same as the 10. So it looks realistic. That's what it's supposed to look like. People buy the iPhones for realistic photos, not for this garbage. This just looks bad. I mean, look at his beard. It's not even close. And he points that out in his video as well of how, I guess, disappointed he is in it. Um, it's just creepy looking. I mean, look at that. I mean, some people might say it looks better, but honestly, I think it just looks creepy. And it's not real. It's not a representation of who he is or what he looks like um, and it looks like he's wearing makeup and stuff uh, definitely not a good look for apple here um, for them to be doing this and i mean that's just not that's not right that does not look legit it looks bizarre uh, now here is a pretty cool test you can see look at how it changes when he puts his hand over his face it's like the phone is recognizing his face and uh, it, it's using some maybe ai in the background to kind of smooth out and detect his face and then smooth it and just look at that again. See, it turns bluish, and then as soon as it detects his face, changes the color tone, and instantly starts smoothing his skin. That's just, ugh. It's just weird, and it's creepy, and it does not look good. So the fact that if Apple wants to do this, that's totally fine. There's plenty of weird apps out there that will do this for you. Uh, a lot of them are Asian, uh, because that's something that apparently they like to do. But unless your skin is horribly messed up, you really do not need this. And in fact, in most cases, it makes you look worse. So for Apple to implement a feature like this, fine, but at least tell people and allow it to be toggled on and off. This cannot be changed right now. This is how it is. So it might be a bug, they might've messed up, they might fix it in iOS 12.0.1, or it might be a hardware thing. It's hard to say at this point, but if Lou's gonna make a video on it, uh, you know it's a big deal, and uh, I was not even privy to this. I did not know that this was happening because I don't have this phone, uh, but I did notice that people's pho photos did look a little bit off. Couldn't put my finger on it. Uh, here's another article on it, pretty much the same thing. Um, and you guys can clearly see, look, iPhone 10 versus 10s. Look at how like rosy his skin is. Uh, I think that's a he, I hope that's a he. <laughs> Um, but, and then like here, it looks like a normal human skin, but this just doesn't look human. It looks, looks like something else. I don't know, but it's smoothing it out. It's changing the skin tone. It's just not natural. And that is a very bad thing to be happening, especially on an iPhone. Like I can understand this on those cheap Chinese phones where they just throw garbage at the cameras and just try to make it look better, but a good look. And then there's one more article here. You guys can clearly see iPhone 10 versus 10s max, uh, some people might say that this one looks better, but it does not look like the person at all. Like the hair gets completely washed out. The skin looks smooth, but it's more of one, I guess, complexion, but it just looks unnatural in a weird way. It looks like almost a doll or like, I don't know, just way too much makeup or something. So I think most people would probably prefer this one just because it looks more realistic, um, but that's personal preference, I guess. I mean, obviously the, the picture is better. I mean, you look at how much more you can see in the background. It's not blown out. Like great job on Apple for doing that, but to apply this filter just looks so bad. Um, and people are rightfully upset about that. And you guys can see, I'm so frustrated with this camera. It looks stupid in snaps. It looks like I'm using an airbrush filter. But when I open the camera app, front facing camera, my face looked like it had a filter on it. My skin looks too smooth. It doesn't look natural. It looks creepy. So um, that's pretty much all I got for this video, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know this. Maybe you guys don't want to look like yourself or don't want to look like a human, but uh, if that's something that you guys like, well, go ahead and get the 10s and 10s Max. But if you value looking like yourself in your photos, you might actually want to opt for an iPhone 10 this year. I did not think I'd be telling people that. Now in the old days, this wouldn't be that big of a deal because people didn't take selfies as much. But nowadays, everyone's taking selfies, whether you're on Snapchat or whatever. 
Uh, you definitely want the best looking selfie you can get. And to have something like this that you can't turn off that's making people look weird is not a good look for Apple. And I hope that they can fix this. I hope it's not a hardware issue. Uh, it should be something in software, but we'll have to see what Apple actually comes out with here uh, in the coming days. 12.0.1 should be on the horizon because there is a bug in iOS 12 right now to access your photos and contacts from the lock screen. Um, and this really only applies if you have Siri enabled on the lock screen. So I've always urged people turn that off. There's just too many bugs with it, but that sh should be out soon. And hopefully uh, they can do something about this and at least fix this camera issue. Because I think if the general public knew about this, they'd definitely think twice before buying one of these phones. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this down below, because this is probably a very dividing subject. Um, but I think everyone can pretty much agree that the more natural your photos are, I mean, you can do this later if you want to like airbrush your face and make yourself look weird. iPhones have been known for having very good raw images. Like you just take the picture, you can edit it later if you want, but if you want the best overall photo of whatever most realistic you use an iPhone. And I can't say that anymore about selfies from the new iPhone. So I'm very disappointed in this. A lot of people are. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit with a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.